Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. All right, here we go into the weekend. Weather looking good here across Acadiana. Warmer temperatures. Winds will be a little bit lighter out there tomorrow, but then we'll start to see breezier southerly winds returning on Sunday. And with that, you'll notice the humidity on the upswing and rain chances returning as we head into next week. So let's first take a look at conditions out there tonight. No issues whatsoever. Most of us in the six uh, in the fifties already. And we're going to see those temperatures continue to fall through the fifties. Eventually we'll be in the forties by tomorrow morning, mid forties for most of us. So it's going to be a chilly start uh, to our Saturday. And here's the uh, culprit for all the cool weather that we've been enjoying this upper level low here. And that's really driving all that cooler air southward into the area. That same upper level feature producing quite a bit of cloud cover and uh, showers and even snow showers as we get across portions of the Tennessee River Valley. But all that is going to be staying well off to our east and uh, we're going to be enjoying mostly clear skies tonight. Again, mid 40s by tomorrow morning. So uh, jackets needed out the door first thing in the morning, but then warming up pretty quickly throughout the day. We'll be in the uh, mid to upper 70s by the afternoon, but lots of sunshine. So it's going to be a beautiful day for sure and uh, a little bit of a west to southwesterly component in that wind by the afternoon. But again, much lighter winds tomorrow uh, compared to the last couple of days for sure. So that's going to help the uh, fire situation, uh, but nonetheless, still a dry atmosphere in place tomorrow. So again, uh, outdoor burning is still not recommended across the area and then southerly winds uh, tomorrow night heading into Sunday morning. So not quite as chilly, but still cool mid to upper 50s and then mostly sunny once again into our Sunday afternoon temperatures topping out upper 70s to near 80 degrees. But winds will be breezy out of the south Sunday afternoon sustained 15 to 20 uh, gust at times could get close to that 30 miles per hour range. And then here we go into Monday southerly winds continuing to pile up the moisture across the area. So uh, you'll notice the humidity on the uptick Sunday, but it's going to be more noticeable as we head into next week. Uh, a few isolated showers there going into Monday afternoon. This is the European model. I showed you the uh, GFS earlier, but you're a little bit more aggressive uh, with the shower and storm activity as we head into the middle parts of the week. Here we are Tuesday and then uh, going into Wednesday. Severe weather threat likely on Wednesday somewhere across the deep south. Now how far that drops southward into Acadiana? Uh, still a little bit too early uh, to tell for sure. Something we'll watch through the course of the weekend, uh, but uh, nonetheless, nice this weekend and then a little bit more unsettled as we head into next week. Temperatures tonight again, chilly, lower 40s, northern portions of Acadiana, mid 40s here along the I-10 corridor and then mid to upper 40s uh, across the coastal parishes. So here's the weekend forecast. Oh boy, it's going to be a nice one for sure. After that chilly start tomorrow morning, mild into the afternoon, 78 degrees, lots of sunshine, mostly sunny heading into Sunday, 79 or so. And again, Winds will, breeze, winds will be breezy come Sunday afternoon. Not uh, so breezy tomorrow. Again, we'll see more of a westerly component in that wind, only at around 5 to 10 uh, miles per hour and lots of sunshine throughout the day. So uh, looking good for any outdoor activities, not only tomorrow, but all weekend long. And then here we go into next week. Moisture is going to be building. So with that, we'll see more cloud cover across the area and the return of some rain chances as well. It'll be a little bit warmer as well. Lower 80s and then we'll go 40 to 50 to 60 percent on your rain chances for the middle parts of the week. And again, we'll keep an eye on any sort of severe weather threat, but that's going to come into better focus through the course of the weekend. So uh, stay with me. I'll have the very latest over the next couple of days and then uh, Easter weekend forecast a little iffy at this point when we get to the last three to four days in that forecast always subject to change. So uh, we'll be modifying those numbers over the next several days as well. But that's going to do it for weather for now. We'll have more news coming up after the break.